Hello everybody, it's me again, Crazy Bag Lady. Okay, so I'm completely and utterly in my scruffs. I am in the middle of painting and I've bought myself something and it's arrived today. It's come all the way from Florence in Italy, which totally fascinates me. Um, it's something that's been on my little wish list for a while. And as you know, I have sold a few handbags recently. So um, I was waiting to see if I could find one of these and I found one. I'm not sure if it's going to be too small and I've purely only bought this for the sparkles. So without further ado, let's get in it. So you have to excuse the fact that I'm literally covered in paint. But I thought I need to get it open, check it's all right, because obviously it has come away from Italy. Um, and also I really wanted to look at it and I thought, oh, I don't need to get changed just to unbox a handbag. So we're all friends on here who needs to dress up just to look at a handbag. Okay, so I've undone the box and now I can't work out to get in here. This can't be this hard. Oh dear. Oh right, hang on. Let me work out how to open the box. Right, I've done it. That was the stickiest thing I've ever had to pull off. So it was like stuck like that and I've had to like pull it. Right, we've done it. We're in. Oh look at the packaging. Oh wow I am a sucker for packaging. Oh wow. So it's come with like a special little booklet, I presume my receipt and stuff's in there. Oh wow, it's not very often that I buy brand new bags. Um, as you all know, I, I mainly source them second hand, but it's been really hard to find one of these. Oh, look at the box. Oh, wow. No, I definitely don't feel that I'm dressed up enough to open this. Okay, so it's got this beautiful elastic section that holds the box. Right, okay. Ooh, I'm so excited to see this. Right, so it's in a beautiful Prada box. It's got Prada tissue paper. Oh, wow. And then it's in here. I'm scared to open it. <laughs> right, okay. Are we ready? I bet you can guess what it is. If you love handbags as much as me, I bet you'll know what, I've, what this is because I've already said about the sparkles. Right, okay. Right, are we ready? Oh my god. Oh wow. So it's the Prada re edition, and they're just covered in Swarovski crystals. Oh my god. Wow, what a bag. So I did buy one of these bags last year, um, a lovely lady off Instagram that I follow, um, lovely Sarah, she bought one of the like, they like made of toweling and stuff um, and they got the big Prada logo across the front and I really loved it but I just felt it wasn't worth the money, it was absolutely beautiful but I just, I didn't feel the love so I did return it. This is more or less the same bag but obviously this one is covered in crystals so I've seen a lot of people have this and they don't just save it for evenings out because if I save this for evenings out, it would never get used because I don't really go anywhere as such. So I know a lot of people have used it just for going to like shopping and stuff and I would totally do that. So I thought actually one of these probably would suit my lifestyle because you can use it wherever you want. Well, you can use any bag wherever you want, but I do really love sparkly bags anyway. Um, so... Wow, it's just so lovely. You know, because it's got lots of crystals on it and they're real, like, Swarovski crystals, it has got a bit of weight to it, which is quite nice. Um, okay, so it comes with the Prada tag on the front. Obviously, if you take that off, then you can't return it. So it's got a zip fastening. And then inside, I think it's just one... Take the stuff in out. I think it's just one big compartment. I've seen a lot of people... Uh, they do put a handbag liner in it because it's not a structured bag. I think it gets a bit of a saggy bottom. <laughs> um, so they put a, a liner in it, which does help keep it shape. So it's one, I think it's just one compartment. Yeah, it is. So it's like black satin lined. It's got Prada logo in there. And this, the lining feels beautiful. It really does feel like satin. It's gorgeous. Um, and then obviously it's got its reissue little tag thing in there. I'm sure if we can take it off. Yeah, so it says Prada Re-Edition 2000. Oh, it's just so... The thing is, I don't think the camera picks up how sparkly it is. Um, obviously, there's no sunshine, really. There's not really... I've got no lights on or anything. So I think we need to go and look at it under some spotlights. Oh, 
It's so pretty. I really like it. Can you imagine if you just got a plain outfit on and then you just use this? Oh, it's just so special. Right, let's go and have a look. Okay, so mod shot wise, obviously I'm covered in paint. It's dry paint, don't worry. <laughs> um, but I'm covered in paint, so these are my scruffy painting clothes. So you can wear it in the crook of your arm. Um, like somebody said, you see, it sort of sinks in a bit when it's not got a liner in it. So I think the best thing to do is get a liner for it so it keeps its shape because you can see it's sinking in a little bit. So you can wear it in the crook of your arm. You can obviously just carry it like so. Um, does it fit over your shoulder? Probably not. Oh, hang on, sorry. Because uh, I've not got the skinniest arms. Um, yeah, it'll just go on my shoulder, but I probably wouldn't wear it like that. It doesn't feel that comfy. I'd rather just wear it in the crook of my arm or probably just swing it about. Okay, so that's how you can sort of wear it. And then it's got a, um, it's not a leather strap. It's like microfat. No, not microfat. It's like a camp thick canvasy sort of stuff i don't know it's a bit like what your seatbelt's made of that sort of thing okay so spotlights dun, 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 dun. look at this wow it feels so lovely i don't actually think the cameras pick up how much it shines i think in real life it shines so much more I've not heard of anybody having a problem with a sea, with one of the sparkles dropping off. Obviously, that is something that you do have to bear in mind. I think if you were frightened of the sequin, not sequins, if you were frightened of the crystals dropping off, then it's probably not the bag for you, whereas I would just use it, and if one dropped off, then it drops off. But I think if you find it, you could always stick it back on. I don't really know. They must be pretty well made, though, because it is Prada. Look at it. I could literally look at it all day. I so, so love sparkles. Wow. It's so pretty. So, sadly, there's no sun. I would imagine when the sun actually hits it, it will be absolutely beautiful. So, as you know, I absolutely adore sequins and sparkles. And I said that I would only be sort of getting stuff that really makes my heart sing this year. So, this really does make my heart sing. It is absolutely stunning. I love it so much. Right, so I've put all my lights on. So look at it with all the lights on. <gasps> I'm probably a bit late to the party with this because I know a lot of people have already bought them and stuff, but I like to research things and think about it. And if it was meant to be, it was meant to be. And Prada did get them back in stock. I'm not sure if they've sold out again. Um, they've also done a pink one, which is absolutely stunning and a white one, which the white one's beautiful, but again, I think you'd soon get the strap dirty, so I don't think you can go wrong with a darker colour, but the pink one, oh, it's the most beautiful shade of pink, it's stunning. Um, and I've seen they've also bought some sequin ones out as well, like a lilac sequin one that says Prada in big letters across the front. They're just so cool. So that's my very naughty unboxing. I probably won't be getting a bag for a long time now. Although I did say that last week about my Chanel one, but I won't be because I've sold a lot and I've reinvested in what I wanted. So this will probably be me for a while. So many, many thanks for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you love bags as much as me, you will be very excited about this. If you don't, then you won't. <laughs> so if you do love handbags, then please subscribe to my channel. Come and find me on Instagram as Mrs. Crazy Bag Lady. And also my little dogs have got an Instagram as well, which is called Two Fluffles. So the links will all be down below. So I love you and leave you. I'll see you very soon. Bye.